how it works. Anyway, let's get into the next game here. This is going to be a PvZ once again. It's going to be on Polar Knight, spawning in the top. In purple, four team outset. Team was up 3 1. Now it's 3 3. It's our purple Zerg player, Brownling. And his opponent in the bottom of Polar Knight. In red, playing for his team, CT6. It's Bliss. So another PvZ. And it looks like another going to be a expand play. This is a platinum versus platinum matchup. Uh, this is a really easy map to wall off on, so it'd be nice to see maybe actually a Nexus first, rather than not a Nexus first for once, but we'll see. Yeah. And Shpoom, uh, it'll be up on YouTube later once I get done with all this stuff, so it'll be there. You can be able to watch it later. Yeah, we'll see if there's anything different that'll happen this time. Uh, there was a mass pretty massive cannon rush last game. And this is going to be... No, it's just a scout. That's just a scout, right? Yes. Okay. And... No, it's going to be a forge first. Uh, it's kind of necessary. The probe does go down. Uh, at the same time as that probe dying, uh, Bradley just lost a good amount of mining time because he had to take all of his drones off. I mean, it's not a huge, huge, huge issue. And you do kill the drone, or you do kill the probe, so you know it's gone. That's always nice. Uh, but he lost some mining time there. It's going to be a pool first. Four are out, said Zerg. And another probe's going to be popping in. I so just want to check for this natural here. Let's see what's up. And see if you can actually get a cannon rush done. And actually, is it going to beat? It's going to beat that for sure. Uh, there is a drone all the way down. He's going to pylon block because may as well at this point. You're not going Nexus first, so you don't need it. And actually, I swear, I feel like that pylon is misplaced. Is he going to be able to actually place a Nexus? Because that's real close. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. He didn't cancel that pylon, so that's there for a while. Uh, but I really... I don't know. I did this the other day on ladder. When I um, I just misplaced my first pylon, and I wasn't able to put down a nexus. I'm like, oh, well, I'm out. No idea what I'm doing now. Because I don't go forge first. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it is it is okay. That was frightening. A little bit frightening there. Furling's in the way. going to be able to kill off this pylon, and... and Browning not choosing to put another hatchery down anywhere else, just banking up the minerals, and not even attacking this pylon. So, hmm. You could have been willing away at that with a drone, at least. Oh well. Cannon and gateway coming up for Bliss. He's gonna, he's gonna finish off his wall pretty soon here. I'm just uh, another pylon. He's gonna be able to finish that off. Uh, this pylon will die, and Browning's gonna be able to expand finally. And he has enough minerals where he can actually expand again, which wouldn't be the worst decision ever. Uh, Bliss is going to make sure that this natural is actually here, and it is. And did he... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This looks to be a cannon rush. This looks to be a cannon rush here. Yes, it is. Give me another cannon rush. Oh, we're going to go down for free, which is going to supply block Bramling, uh, which is not good at the moment, because he's not going to see this. He's not going to see it for a while. Um, drone is coming down. Is it going to scout? No, he's going to make another base. That actually works out pretty well. Uh, these links are scouting around, but are they going to catch that this is here? Cannon is available now. You can build a cannon. You can build two cannons by the time he realizes it, apparently. It does build the first one. Uh, and this is going to be really, really hard to deal with. Um, still hasn't seen anything. He can wall off this area here with another pylon, even, I think. Uh, but two cannons are, are going to be enough. And if he's paying a lot of attention, he can, he can figure out where... I kind of see that the path that that probe took to get up to this base that it came from back here, but uh, just regardless, there's two cannons that are gonna they're gonna finish, and if this base gets finished, uh, that's an issue. Cannon is done, and you see it's gonna start attacking and not gonna get canceled here. So this base is dead. Uh, how uh, this pylon's in a bad spot. Two queen or a queen in general. A queen can go down here and pick up this pylon, even just a drone with a spine collar can pick up this pylon. So. At least he's going to be able to do that, and at least he does have this third base on the way, so he'll be able to pick up this pylon rather than having to kill all these cannons, which is nice, uh, but at the same time, he is getting a Roach Warren quickly, and he does have the availability for this base, and back home, it's going to be a Stargate for Bliss. Um, pretty sick timing on me clicking to go back to his base to see that popping up immediately, but this natural's dead. 
Uh, another hatchery coming up for Browning, so he's wanting to get up hatcheries as, as quickly as possible, but um, at this point, he, he, it's a bit dangerous. And, yeah. 30 workers and 24 right now in favor of the Protoss player, and this was a somewhat of a later expansion, so very nice win here for Bliss already. And going into Stargate play, this is going to be very, very rough to push away. Um, Queens are going to be probably dealing with this pylon a little bit later. Uh, there's not going to be very many of them. And there's just not going to be any units in general. So unless he figures out that this Stargate is here, and it's placed in a wonderful position too. Uh, he killed an, Bliss killed an Overlord earlier that was at his natural. So the closest Overlord now is way the heck over here. Um, yeah. Laying speed is on the way. Uh, a Void Ray actually is going to be the choice. So it may just be like a gateway all in with some Void Rays. Uh, just to, to be beefier. Since literally all that Browning is going to have right now are a lot of Lings and some Roaches probably. Unless he is looking to go directly into Mutas, which is still a possibility. Uh, he, he did make 16 links here. Um, he doesn't have any, really, he doesn't have the gas to do this, though. Uh, these bases were so hard to get up. And still he hasn't decided to go and kill off this pylon yet, so... This is going to be interesting. One Void Ray is about to finish up here. I don't know why I wouldn't let me go back to this. So there's one Void Ray done. Mm, is he going to build another one? Is he supply blocks? Nope. It's just not building anything. It's not really the minerals. It's really low on minerals right now. He's got a lot of gas and no minerals. Uh, so first, first Void Ray is out. Hmm, this will be interesting. Does a Void Ray beat a Queen one-on-one? -on -one? I'm pretty sure it does. But, it's close. Especially with more Queens. If he makes more Queens, that'd be really interesting. Evo Chamber is on the way. I'm not sure if this is going to be for Carapace or for melee upgrades or range upgrades. Let's see. Uh, again, he's still only on two gas, so I imagine he is going to be trying to go for um, Roach play, yeah. Well, actually, melee upgrades with Roach speed. So... Hmm. Should be interesting. And one Void Ray and one Phoenix are out here. And there's nothing to really do this. And he can he's going to pick up the Queen and target it down with the Void Ray, which is actually really interesting. But at the same time, Spore Car is going to start going up in all the bases. And I don't think... Yeah, that's not going to really work too well. But it did delay the Queen attacking the Void Ray long enough. The Void Ray is able to kill this. So now the Void is going to be sitting here unabated. Um, and another Overlord is going to go down. And a lot of links going to try to swing in here. But there are uh, plenty of Force Fields here. Uh, actually trapping in a bunch of those lings, but at the same time, the Zealot, he's not getting attacked, because the lings are trying to escape rather than do anything else. Uh, Voider almost goes down to this war caller. He almost killed it as well. Um, so, still quite the lead here for Bliss. 50 to 54 workers are 42. How many queens are on the map? There's only three queens right now. It could be four, but it's not. Uh, he's wanting to make some more queens. He is doing just that. He's making more queens as he can. And he's still getting this melee upgrade, even though he's going for Hydras and Roach Speed. Uh, so I'm not really sure what his thought process is in that just a moment. But, uh, yeah. What's we'll have? Phoenix is just moving across the map, trying to find any overlords they can, but they've already found them all. Actually, oh lord. That's a look at all these overlords. Juicy, juicy overlords. If these Phoenix fly back behind his base, they're going to kill a ton of overlords really quickly. A War Prism actually is on the way. Um prior to the robotics bit being finished here. So this could get pretty interesting. Couple Void Rays out. Couple Phoenix out. Twilight Council on the way as well. Plus one attack is on the way. Uh, another Queen is gonna go down here. Uh, it's not gonna be able to do anything. Get picked up by the Phoenix. That dies. Creep Timber dies even. Uh, he's gonna take out that support collar. He's gonna pick away what he can. Another Queen here. Gonna get picked up. Gonna get, no he doesn't have the, doesn't have the energy for it. Doesn't matter, he's got two Void Rays. Two void, who voids are going to kill a queen? He does pick it up just to keep their health a little bit better. And these phoenix, are they going to see it now? Oh, they're going to see these juicy overlords now. So many overlords here. Oh my god. He sees them. Oh, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, go back. Just kill overlords. Look at all those overlords you're going to kill. And he's going to, he actually has a chance to kill this base, but spore collars do burrow uh, right there, so they're going to be able to push that away at the least, but. Ah. Uh, I don't think Overlords are going to die, really. I think one has already died. Oops. So, yeah. He's killed five Overlords so far in this game. Voider is still sneaking in here, trying to do much damage. They killed the third base. War Prism is in. <laughs> They're going to start doing work, but this pilot is still here. And some Zealots are going to walk into this main base. And there's nothing to defend against them. Uh, some Hydras are popping out. But at the same time, it's 44 army supply to 35. Where is the army supply? 
It's okay. There's all these drones transferring. It's intriguing. A lot of lings and a lot of roaches. But beyond that, yeah, this is not much. Uh, meanwhile, Bliss is taking a third base back here. There is another base up for Brownling, so he's still on three bases somehow. They are in very strange positions, but he is still on three bases. This Phoenix has six kills, this one has three. It's a lot of kills for Phoenix to have. War Prism is still alive, and Colossus is already on the way. Uh, is Charge on the way? Charge will be on the way after Blink is finished, uh, but he's just getting every bit of tech that he possibly can right now, and this is a pretty beefy army still, uh, even against whatever uh, whatever Browning decides to throw at him. The only upgrade that Browning has right now is this plus one melee. With plus one range is on the way, another Overlord goes down. What we got? We're at eight Overlords killed so far in this game. Uh, a few more Zelts warped in. Uh, gonna be annoying to this to the drone line, which is always good. Third base is under fire, though. Uh, where is the Mothership core? I don't know. There it is. But that's a good amount of units. He, is, he uses the Time Warps. He knows that Mothership core was going to go down, but Time Warps going to do a lot of work here. Colossus is out, and all these Hydras are going to die. They're going to try to focus down this third base, which is... Oh, that's, that's a decision. They're going to get the third base, at least, so that's nice. But at the same time, Zealots are wreaking havoc here in the main base. 14 workers have been killed so far, and he's got no economy, and Browning's going to call the GG there. Bliss, interesting play. Starts with a can rush, goes to Stargate. Does a lot of work there. Puts CT6 into their first lead of the series here. Maybe 4-3 now?